Hey everybody, you are tuned in to the wrap up. I'm L'Oreal Lucci. This week, Fetty Wap sentenced to six years after prosecutors accused him of glamorizing the drug life. Tory Lanez could face a harsher sentence for shooting Megan Thee Stallion. The Gap is coming for Kanye in a $2 million lawsuit. Let's get right to it. As Megan Thee Stallion scored a victory in her shooting case against Tory Lanez, she has another legal battle to combat. Megan asked a Texas judge to make a surprise witness appear at her upcoming deposition for her case against the music label 1501 Certified Entertainment. Now she signed with them back in 2018 and Megan wants to dispose 1501 executive Darren Smith, who's also the boyfriend of her former best friend, Kelsey Harris, now, Megan says Darren allegedly has firsthand knowledge regarding her feud with her former label head, Carl Crawford. Megan claims Carl took money that was meant for her, attempted to block her from releasing music, and refused to renegotiate her contract. Now, Carl allegedly started acting funny when Megan signed a management deal with Rock Nation without their knowledge back in 2019. The case is still pending. I'll keep y'all updated. Sad news, I'm sure by now you all heard that the queen of rock and roll, Tina Turner, passed away at 83 years old, quietly in her sleep in her home in Switzerland. Celebrities spoke out on Tina's honor, and y'all know that was Beyonce's girl. Now, Beyonce thanked her for paving the way and also said, my beloved queen, I love you endlessly. Erica Badu said, quote, cultural icon, safe journey, Anna Mae Bullock, you were here. Magic Johnson said Tina's concerts were the best live shows he's ever seen. Tina was popular in the 70s and 80s. She escaped a very abusive husband, Ike Turner, with only 36 cents to her name, and became a hero to battered women. She's most notably known for her classic, What's Love Got To Do With It? She will be missed dearly. Her legacy lives on forever. Moving on, following Fetty Wap's guilty plea for drug trafficking charges, he was sentenced to six years in federal prison on Wednesday. Now, during a raid from 2019 to 2020, authorities claim to have recovered 1.5 million in cash, 16 kilograms of cocaine, two kilograms of heroin, several fentanyl pills, and multiple guns and ammunition. Now, prosecutors were pushing for Fetty to get seven to nine years because they say he glamorized the drug trade with his mega hit track queen. Now, in Fetty's defense, he argued that he felt pressure to financially support his family, which was his motivation behind the crime. He was initially facing 40 years, so I am wishing Fetty the best. As he remains behind bars, he's been in custody since his bail was revoked in August last year. Next up, prosecutors want Tory Lanez to serve the most time possible after he was convicted for shooting Megan the Stallion. In a new court filing, prosecutors laid down three aggravating factors for the judge to possibly give Tory a harsher sentence. In their opinion, Tory illustrated a high level of callousness on the night of the shooting when he told Megan, who was only wearing a bikini and shoes, to quote unquote, dance, bitch. Prosecutors also say Tory had no regard for Megan, the people they were with, and the neighborhoods they were in that night. In addition, prosecutors mentioned his use of a semi-automatic handgun in the filing. Now, Tory's team fought hard for an appeal, but their motion for a new trial was shot down. It's not clear how many years prosecutors are pushing for. He does face 22 years. Sentencing goes down on June 13th. I'll keep y'all posted as more details become available. The Gap is not happy with Kanye West. Things are getting nasty with their $2 million lawsuit. A company called Art City Center, which is an LA building that was leased as a storefront for Kanye's Gap and Yeezy collaboration, filed a lawsuit against the clothing brand, saying that the store underwent unapproved alterations when Ye had his operation there. Now, Art City Center is demanding that The Gap pay the bill to restore the building, but The Gap says Kanye is responsible and is suing him for $2 million. The Gap says in their contract with Kanye, the company says they would not be held liable for any claims like this. Now, back in September, Kanye pulled the plug on his partnership with The Gap, claiming the company double-crossed him with empty promises. I'll keep y'all updated as more details become available. Before we get out of here, 50 Cent announced his upcoming tour will be his last. The final lap tour is a celebration for the 20th anniversary of his debut album, Get Rich or Die Trying. Now, 50 Cent hopped on Instagram Live to chop it up with fans and said, quote, I won't be running around like this no more. I gotta do my film and TV stuff, and I got a lot of other things going on behind the scenes that I gotta work on, so I won't be out touring as much as I've been touring. I'm having fun this time because it's a setup to enjoy myself. We not feeling the pressure. Now the 64 day tour kicks off in July, stopping at major cities. Plus he'll be heading overseas in September. Will you be attending? Let me know in the comment section below. That's all we got for you today on The Wrap Up. I'm L'Oreal Lucci. Now I gotta get back to work. Adios.